finding your lane is important. I would say musically. Yeah. But you can't just do one thing these days. No, you have to do so much. You got to know how to brand. You got to know how to be active on social media. You got to know how to be unique. You got to know how to network. You can't just like make really good music and expect things to happen. No. I, I like whenever younger DJs ask me, you know, what 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 have you done? And not to say that I'm any, even anything big or special. I just said I've done so much of everything that I'm trying to just keep getting tighter and tighter at what I'm good at. Well, because if you have to work the day job, like if you're the DJ, you're the producer, you're whatever, like you're yeah. the artist, I guess, mm-hmm. and like you have to have that day job to like supplement your life. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. No. But like, you know, it's how you want to balance it. So if, if it's, you know, if this is your day job and this is your artist career, the goal is to yeah, finally tip the scale where you don't need the day yep. job anymore. And exactly. Keep going. But a lot of guys don't see that far ahead because I like I was talking about this like the other day mm-hmm. and I forget with who we were talking about like the middle where it's like most guys start at the bottom sure. and most guys like have this vision where like they skip the middle part of whatever their like goal is mm-hmm. and they instantly look at like I need to headline a festival yeah I need to like be up on the diplo level and it's like there's so much money and opportunity in the middle that you're bypassing by yeah. not doing that it's crazy, but it's like you get these guys. It's like, well, I DJed my first wedding. I guess I'm like ready to like DJ a club. It's like, <laughs> no, but no. Then it travels up because you get club DJs. Like, well, now I've like DJed like 50 clubs. Like, mm-hmm. I should be headlining a festival. It's yeah. Like, no, I have played a festival. It's terrifying. Yeah. I don't want to do that. <laughs> like, I don't like DJing during the daytime in general. Yeah. Let alone to like people that are like there to see you jump on stage and throw shit. It's like people that. don't realize like those steps, like those stepping stones. It's like it's it, true. Like, and there's that middle part that everybody misses. I agree. It's it's a glorified business because of what we see from the Diplos, you know, to bring them up again. Uh, I, I like bringing this up. It's like, it's so exciting to get into it right away. Mm-hmm. You know, your first gig, no matter what the hell it is, a house party. Oh, dudes love it. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. And it gives you that bug. And then you keep going. And then, you know, let's just say the threshold is 10 gigs after that. Mm-hmm. And you're like, all right, what's next? And then... You could go a year doing nothing or the same, and that's when people break. Yeah. That's the middle that people can't get through. And they act like it's you know steady progression. No, it's not. It's like some crazy shit like this. Where no, like it's not. You could have the worst year of your life, like it, four years after like the best four years of your life. It's true. Yeah. It's true. I, I put out an Instagram story that I saw. It was basically just a tweet, and it was, you know, Martin Garrix made animals and got famous the next day. Armin Van Buren was like a law firm broker and built a state of trance at 30 years mm-hmm. old. You're not too early. Yeah. You're not too late. You just need to make sure that what you're doing is what you love. You got to be calculated with it. You have point. to be calculated with something. Like some guys just don't plan it out. No, it's ridiculous. It's like, hey, there's tomorrow, by the way. Yeah. You know. But everybody wants to do it now, and like you know, we see this because a lot of guys like. I love giving the advice because it's like there's people that ask me things where I'm like, I can't help you headline a festival or like get your record pushed on radio. Like, yeah. Yes, I've like consulted with some festival stuff. Yes, I've worked in radio, but like. That ain't me, man. Like that's mm-hmm. it's a whole nother shit show for that. It is. But these guys just want that instant the end game. And I'm happy to like kind of be like, Are you killing it like in every market in the city? Or like in the in the US? Like, yeah. have you played every major thing? Like do you yeah. have records people want to hear? Yeah. No? So no? what are you gonna do at a festival? <laughs> <laughs> what makes you unique? Yeah. What's gonna I mean it's a business too. Because is... when was the last DJ that like you saw at a festival that wasn't playing their own music? Uh like girl talk? But even that was still his unique thing. Not a significant festival. Right. Nothing that would, uh, you know, for lack of a better term, matters, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you can do, like, the art, like, the local stage. Sure, fun, and there's like, nothing wrong with that, no, but... But, like, you're not headlining... Or nothing on an Insomniac level or React Presents level. No. And that's what those people are looking for. You got... What are you doing that's yourself? Like, there's no, like, traditional open format DJs that are playing at festivals. No. People aren't going to festivals to see an open format set. And like, if there are, it's probably guys like Vice or whatever who actually yeah, have absolutely. records. But I don't even know. Like I, I really haven't seen like the guys that were like really killing that scene mm-hmm. go to festivals because I think they saw the Vegas and touring money they were getting. Yeah. And they saw the festival money, and it's yeah. like, wait, why? Yeah, right. It, 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 I, again, it's a business, right? Like everybody's got to get their stick. Yeah. What are the festival promoters getting? What are the club owners getting? What is the DJ getting? Also, it's like the audience too. I think that's the the hardest thing for me to grasp as I get older. Yeah. Like is like, at some point, if you're the forty year old DJ still playing like, like bottle service clubs, <laughs> they are twenty years younger than you. Yeah, shit. 
That's like, crazy. The relatability has to be so hard. At some yeah. Point. So it's like, I feel like there has to be like, and again, like people get families, they have kids, they move on. Yeah. So you can still do it and be great at it. There's don't get me wrong. There's definitely DJs in their forties that are like sure in clubs, but not a lot. Yeah, because it's like that that level of relatability. And there's even stuff where I hear like some of our DJs play, and I'm like, is this what's this is what's big? <laughs> this is what's working? <laughs> not to be like the old grumpy guy, but it's like, oh my god, like yeah. Fuck, you do this five nights a week. Okay. Yeah. At least you're able to acknowledge that and appreciate yeah. it. But I think that's like what it. everybody has to realize is like there is a time stamp on it. There is a way you have to evolve. There is a way True. you have to like figure out your life if you're going to be in the long haul for a DJ. Yeah. Or like a musician. At some point, you're physically not going to look the way a venue wants you to <laughs> or you're musically not going to sound the way a venue wants you to because you didn't keep up. Yeah. That's good advice. And hopefully it's like you've kept up the physical looks or you've kept up your appearance. It, 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 that goes right back into what you're talking about. You also have to look presentable. Yeah. I have friends, and I, I love them to death, but, like, there's, I've had the call where it's like, yo, man, can you, like, not smoke a ton of weed and, like, maybe shower before the gig? Because, like, oh, shit. that was bad. Oh, man. But it, it happens because there's guys that just, they're there. Yeah. They're great DJs. Nobody gives a fuck. I was like, yo, man, like, be presentable. Yeah, I know. It's a whole package. All of it. 